they say ancient Egypt was a civilization along the Nile River that began around 3100 BC, or 5000 years ago, and ended 1100 BC. Lasting 2000 years, it brought forth the Great Pyramids of Giza and other marvels. This you learn in school, on TV, in encyclopedias. The history is considered settled. Settled, means the subject is closed, no longer open for questioning. It's been solved long ago. Now, I'd like to offer, that ancient Egypt didn't exist. At least not as a distinct entity. Things that make it distinct, such as the pyramids, can also be found elsewhere, in Iraq, India, and as far away as Mexico and Peru, just to name a few. I'm also claiming that its events played out much more recently, within the last 1000 years. I hope to prove to you, that the Great Pyramids, did not exist more than 1000 years ago. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. A few months ago, a map, dated 1536, caught my attention. The title of this beautiful map, speaks of Cairo and Babylon. The legendary Babylon. In Egypt. I thought it was in Iraq or Mesopotamia. Or maybe Babylon was a larger empire that included both. Old maps have a country called Babylonia in Iraq, from Ralph Waldsimiller's 1507 map Amundi. And a city, called Babylonia, in Egypt. Interesting that an empire, said to have gone extinct thousands of years ago, is found on maps from 500 years ago. In the map of ancient Cairo Babylon, we see 12 great pyramids, perhaps representing 12 wandering stars, not just the three we know. They were built atop flattened hills, some would say giant tree stumps. In Frederick Dodson's book, Extraterrestrial Linguistics, he said the word pyramid means either fire avoidance, ancient German pyramide, or fire center, pyramid. The building atop hills, fits the description. Bottom right we see a sphinx, perched atop one of the flattened hills. I checked on Wikipedia's page for Babylon, but found no mention whatsoever of Babylon Egypt or Babylon Cairo, as of the date of this video. But Cairo, is Babylon on old maps, without exception. On this incredibly old 1442 map, there is a large city on the Nile, labeled Babylonia, instead of Cairo. A close-up. The same map also shows a Babylonia in Iraq. There were definitely two Babylonias, but history is oddly quiet about the one in Cairo. This is the lower right quarter of a larger 1600 map of Cairo. The last sentence on this map says Das Juvalti Grace von Babylonia, German for the powerful kingdom of Babylonia. A powerful kingdom is likely not limited to one city. What if this was the capital of Babylon, and Mesopotamia an outpost? This is the upper right quarter. The city here is labeled Bab, and there's an area beside the pyramids labeled Memphis. This map is from 1890. Here, in this late map, the town across from the Giza pyramids is called Babylon. Over time, the definition of Babylon gets smaller, until it's only a small town across from Giza. Soon thereafter, it disappears from maps. A French map of the 1800s, also calls the town across from Giza as Babylon. It's mind-boggling to me that the exact location of the mythical Babylon was on regular maps until the late 1800s. This is an 1170 map of Cairo, drawn by the Muslims who occupied the city at the time. Notice anything? There are no pyramids. Of course this doesn't prove there were no pyramids in 1170. They could have been omitted for religious or other reasons. Even so, it's strange to have a map of Cairo and the Nile, but no mention at all of the most dominant features in the landscape. I'll present more evidence further down. Yes, we've been told they existed 6,000 years ago. In some of my previous videos I speculate they were built 12,000 years ago or even further back. But, maybe I, and countless others, were wrong. On this map, anywhere there's a gate, we find the word Bab. Bab el Kantara, Bab el Fudu, etc. The El is Arabic for the, or, of the. Bab el An, then, probably means gated city. I didn't bother looking up the official translation, this is purely from viewing the map. Perhaps any gated city could be referred to as Babylon. The German word for Babylon, even today, is still Babel. 
In the south of this map, we see Castle of Babylon. If Babel simply means gated city, then the whole world could have been Babel, as we find enclosed and fortified cities everywhere. The map is from 1720, drawn by Paul Lucas. It's a real gem, one of those items the history fakers forgot to remove. Yale University carries a higher resolution copy of it online, but it's not downloadable. This tower is one of those anomalous light generating devices we see across so many drawings from the 1700s. The ancients had a method of generating energy that is lost to us today, as I've shown elsewhere. This is probably not the legendary lighthouse of Alexandria if that's what you're thinking. The lighthouse was said to have been destroyed in the 1300s, and also described in a different shape. We see seven pyramids and two sphinxes. One of the sphinxes appears to be half buried, the other is out in the open. Apart from the sanded area around the pyramids, Cairo is more green and fertile than today. By 1720, the structures are no longer atop hills, as they were in the 1500s. Further south we see gigantic waterfalls, along with more pyramids. Or is it an artificial dam? It's south of the Tropic of Cancer, south of Nasfa, perhaps today's Lake Nasser. Probably where we find today's Abu symbol. Below the town Alfuana, we see the word Zestort, which is German for destroyed. The Latin title of this image is something like, New Furnace is the Miracle of Egypt. This text says something about there being a meat miracle, filiate miracula, with the barbarian pyramids, barbar pyramidum, that the whole world is benefiting from. It also says something about eggs, and a new technique, and how this great miracle of Cairo needs to be told to everyone. So, the pyramids are here understood to have been built by the barbarians, and are now being repurposed for some kind of miraculous furnace. Remarkable. It lends weight to all the theories about pyramids being energy generators of some kind. The Towers of Babylon, across from the pyramids. We see many towns on the map that are built as star forts, including Luxor. Like on so many old maps, the town names reveal things outside of the official history narrative. Some of them sound Turkish, such as Bujik Sirhid, through Ottoman influence. There's also some French in Arif Klo, Benesuef and Lovetti. The town Sesquif, Eshif and Kirkofi, sound ancient German. Why? The bottom image appears to have something to do with mummification. There's a statue of a woman with a sun engraved on her chest, a pentagram, a guy worshipping a bird. The pyramids being so very ancient and unique, You'd think they'd be featured across medieval paintings, but there are none. The very earliest pictorial evidence I found of the pyramids in Cairo are on this 1513 map by the Turkish explorer Piri Reis. This video is just an introduction to something I find really fascinating. If you find it interesting, I'll continue in part 2.